Okay. okay. I'm ready. Good morning. I'd like to open up the uh, automotive and flat glass board meeting. And uh, can I get a motion to accept the minutes of the previous meeting of May 26, 2022? I'll make a motion. Can I get a second? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Any comments or concerns of any person present today? So we have um, five people here, six people right now? Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, do we have anybody from the uh, DCP and investigation division? We do not. Janita um, is out on vacation right now. Um, you did get the reports, so but we don't have anybody present right now. No. Yes, I saw the report. I guess there's one that is yeah, one open. open. One open, yeah. That's it. That's all. Okay. Uh, Mr. Fosco. Yes, sir. I just got a an alert that John is on the meeting. So I don't know where he is. I don't know if we need to promote him to a panelist or. Oh yeah, he is there. Is a P is on there, but he's not showing. Oh, sorry about that. Pam Brown is there yeah, too. Yeah, sorry about that. Let me just get them over. Beautiful. There they both are. <laughs> I think you're Good morning, John. Good morning, the, Pam. Uh, investigations. I don't know if you need anything. It's uh, Hi. Yeah. Hi, John. Hi, John. <clears throat> Good morning, Pamela. Good morning. I was kind of hanging out waiting. Um, I think you've already gone past the investigations review. There's only we just one. Stopped I don't right at it. Questions. Knowing that you were in the room, we stopped at it. We just started two minutes ago. <laughs> we, yeah, I was here at the beginning. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that thing is just still open, Pamela? Yes, that's it. And we're going to be working to get the reports to be more in line with the meetings, but it just, it's not going to happen anytime soon. But this is, they're done on a quarterly basis. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, on their old business, continue discussion regarding proposed regulations pertaining to the definition of licensable glazer work. Are we still working on that? They haven't given us anything yet? No. Jennifer? No, I haven't heard a thing. Are you in session? No, I don't believe so. They're out for the summer. Yeah, I don't know when it's if this is a long session this year or sure it might be the long one this this year i don't know when it opens okay. mr grabowski would you like to say good morning to everyone good morning everybody um so yeah this upcoming session is the um the budget session right so it'll be a longer um more involved session the last year and i i don't i mean you don't need to be in session for the regs right regs can be done any time of year so i did you give something to the department as far as proposed regs and those are with somebody here that i can follow up with we well this is a constant circle around we okay. been around and around and we had the definition done and then there was a lot of controversy a lot of problems then we were told it had to be done legislatively and then okay. covid happened and you know the, we just keep pushing the ball farther and farther down the road i guess so i guess what i can do is get you an answer as far as um yeah does it need to be followed up with with the legislature um is, is anybody sitting on it here that I can follow up with? So I, I will take a look into that and see, and at least get you guys a response um, about next steps. Thank you, appreciate it. Yep. Right. John, do you have a question? No, no, no. I was 
reading the uh, notes and had a trouble getting back. But I'm here. Thank you for attending. Mr. Rivera, or Ms. Rivera. Yes. Oh. Um, that is Shannon Rivera, and she is the um, newly hired board administrator. Um, morning. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. So you'll be seeing more of her as, as your meetings go on. So she's the young lady we just got the uh, notice on? Yes. Okay. Well, welcome. Thank you. We're one of the easier boards, so you'll... <laughs> Don't believe them. <laughs> <laughs> For a second. <laughs> <laughs> we're not as needy as everybody thinks we are. Just give us what we want and we're fine. <laughs> a definition I'll make note of, of that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for attending. We appreciate it. No problem. Uh, moving on. New business. Application review working group. Jennifer. Yeah, I'm just trying to find the... Karen, when was that the what, July 28th one meeting? I know we didn't have one in August. Um, what were you looking for? Well, just to do is. Have we had new applicants? Just, yeah, there was. Th I think that was the one where we had the three applicants, the ones from Massachusetts. Uh huh. Okay. And Cent Central. That was it. Central Glass. Was that the last one that we did? Sounds familiar. Yeah. So we had three applications that I reviewed and. Basically, the company and they have they have their own in-house uh, apprenticeship program. They're from Mass, so we allowed the three people to sit for the test. I don't know if they have or not, but we did allow it. So, so they're okay to go. Yeah. Yep. Great. Yep. Great. Yep. Good to hear. And they're out of Mass, so they we must be doing work in Connecticut. I'm assuming. They must have, yeah. I, I'm not sure if they had some issues or what had happened with getting applications approved from PSI or something with COVID, but regardless, they finally got everything all set and they're taking the test. So that was that. All three people were from the same company. So if they're working in Connecticut, did, Carl, did you send them the uh, the job in Glastonbury? <laughs> no, I didn't. I didn't. I wasn't aware of their company. <laughs> okay. But that's it, Jen? Those are the three guys? Yeah. Yep. That okay. was it. Any other questions on that, on the applications? John, I noticed you had something going with an applicant or something. The last meeting? Um, no, I, I just had, um, you know, we, we had somebody that uh, it has come with a lot of automotive experience, but not necessarily in the, um, you know, in the auto glass field. And we were also looking to hire a couple of kids. We ended up not um, out of the, uh, the trade schools and there's you know a piece of that 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 is taught with auto glass and and what we find is that when we get people from you know whether it's automotive school or whether it's somebody that uh worked at a minor key or a body shop or whatever you know we find that they can be up and running a lot quicker than um than somebody that comes in that didn't have any type of, uh, you know, formal either on the job training or, or, um, uh, you know, schooling when it comes to automotive and it happens time and time again with us. So we were just, I, I was just wondering, and I've actually been approached by other people is, you know, can you petition to, you know, sit for the test earlier? If you have somebody that worked, this kid worked, um, uh, there's two guys and, and one of them I think was like in a, a minor key or something like that um, for like the last four years in Ohio. 
I mean, he, you know, I mean, quite honestly, he can do windows really well, windshields really well, because he can tear apart a car and, and put it back together. So. Well, we've let uh, people go in the past for flat glass, not go, but with, they show enough credentials that, um, you know, it's equivalent to what we're asking. So we might be able to help them out in that way also. I mean, yeah, the last meeting, what was basically said was, you know, uh, wait and then petition the Department of Labor at that time. So, you know, I think in around six months, if he's still on track for what he's doing, send it in and see what happens. Okay. There is uh, one other thing. It, um, maybe there should be some clarification on, on the test. So I had somebody that went and failed the test a couple times. They finally did pass it. Well, excuse me, they didn't fail it. But the testing company was telling them that it was an open book. And I did look at some literature and it says it is a closed book test. But And I even said that to them. It was like, no, no, no. It, they told me it was an open book test until they got there. So just an FYI. That would be the contractor's portion. Maybe they right. got it mixed up. Yeah. Right. Right. The contractor was telling uh, actually two people that they could bring the book, but when they got there, they said no. <laughs> and then they had to reschedule for three, four weeks later and pay. We had to actually, then they blamed us. So we had to pay twice the 125, even though they were told something different. Really? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Well, sorry for the imposition there, John, with the paying twice. Yeah, not a big deal, but there was a little, you know, uh, miscommunication. Seems to be a lot of that going around. Anything else on the new business? Well, this is going to be short and sweet. I love it. Correspondence. Oh. Nothing? No. Oh. Uh, comments or concerns of any person present today? Nothing? Oh, this is great. All is quiet. I tell you, I love it. And this is the season, too, the fall. As most of the glazers know that the fall is when they want to get the buildings closed up yeah. and work gets uh, pretty rampant. And I'm sure for you guys that are out there every day. So any other comments? Motion to adjourn is in order. Yeah, our next meeting is the 17th of November, correct? Yes. Yes. That's what I have on my schedule yeah. here. Yeah. I'll make the motion if you'd like. Can I get a second? Carl, thank thank you for throwing me a lifeline, by the way. <laughs> oh, no, no problem. Um, I'll second the motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Well, thank you so much for this brief meeting. And one more question, Carl. Is that a, a floor, glass floor? 